Let's take a look at this wonderful swing of um, Mickey Wright. And there's a couple things I really want you to pay attention to. Uh, let's take a look first at her foot action here. She's just got wonderful foot action. I'll just draw a couple reference lines here from her left foot in golf ball position, and we'll get a good idea of how she turns and pivots, pivots going back. And let's just watch this good free turn as she goes back. Notice how she's freely letting her left knee break in toward her right leg. And this allows her hips to turn freely, which allows her upper body to turn so well going to the top of the backswing. So she gets this huge, big, full wind-up here. And the thing to notice, look where her right shoulder blade is. It's closer to the target now. So she's made this great, huge turn of the upper thorax chest area with great arm extension. So she's in this wonderful position at the top of the backswing. And just going back to take a look at it, I think for the average golfer, if you're struggling with your turn going back, and a lot of golfers tend to restrict themselves and then they try to keep their feet in place and they try to just turn with their upper body, which is, which can be done, but it's really difficult to do if you've got restricted mobility and some flexibility issues like a lot of people do. What you can do is let that left foot come in, let that left heel come up, let those hips turn freely on the backswing, and this will make it easier for you to turn on the backswing and make a good upper body turn which allows you to maintain some width with your arms. Look at the triangle of her arms going back here. Beautiful width, beautiful shoulder turn because she's allowing that left heel to come up and those hips to turn so well going back. She's got great lively feet. And this, well, what this allows her to do on the downswing is a beautiful transition. Watch her transition here. Now the lower body gets active. She plants back down over her left side. You know, she's clearly starting her downswing from the ground up. Beautiful transition. You know, the left knee can, comes in on the backswing, and then she just watch how she starts to move back. And this is all the result of her backswing. She's turned so well going back. This allows this nice natural transition to occur, and she's planted well onto her left side. She's balanced there on her left foot. She's got great pressure there, but her body weight is back. You know, take a look at where her head is now still. It's back behind the golf ball. And she's still got body weight there. Most of her body weight's into her right side, and that's going to really allow her to hit from the inside and then up through the golf ball in a good, powerful swing. And, and Mickey Wright was a very, very long, long hitter for her in their time, you know, for a woman. Very long hitter. She hit it longer than most men, actually. And look at this impact position. Head behind the ball. Clearly balanced on the left foot with great pressure there, great impact position. We see that extension all the way up from the ball, club head, lead arm, and right up to the shoulder. One straight one straight line there at impact. Fantastic impact position. Then she's just freewheeling, turning all the way through. Great rotation and up into a great swing finish position there. Just a wonderful golf swing. Great swing to copy for the average golfer in terms of just the lively footwork, great beautiful turn going back and then lively footwork coming down and through, just good free rotation. Uses her feet in the ground very well. So a good example of having a good free turn, being active with the feet and then don't worry about restricting yourself on the backswing. Let yourself turn, let those hips turn. As long as you're not swaying and sliding, you're okay. She's made this great turn here, great move back and down to the left side and through again. Could watch this golf swing all day long. Such a good swing to copy and to help you make your swing a lot more natural. So if you're having a little bit of trouble with the back swing, you're a little bit restricted, you know, activate the feet, let that lead foot bend in, let that knee come in, let that lead heel come up. Have a good full hip turn. Don't worry about that. That's going to help your upper body turn and that'll free up your downswing and that'll make that downswing a lot more reactionary and then you can make that great transition of, you know, planting onto that left foot, get that left knee over the left foot and start unwinding through the golf ball and just let her go into a good free finish position there. Wonderful swing of the legendary Mickey Wright.